We need to go thrifting. We're doing a collab with my friend Cassie from The Cassie Project. If you haven't checked her out, make sure you do. She does some really cool sketchbook sessions, vlogs, they create this book. She does a lot of fun stuff. We need to go find something for her to paint. We're gonna be giving a theme, a color palette, and seeing what she can come up with. Let's go. I wanna find something cool, but there's so many choices. I may have got a bit sidetracked and bought a new sketchbook. It happens, we all do it. I found this barometer in the shape of a violin. It's quirky and I thought it would be perfect for painting, but then I held it and realized it's not actually wood, it's thin cheap plastic, so that's a no. I found this adorable little deer for only a pound, which is perfect, it has loads of detail. Though I discovered these old music sheets that would have been great for the first item. Let's pick a color palette. Like this yellow. This one here is so pretty. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe these three, I think these three could be really cool. Maybe slightly lighter, maybe these. I know we went out for Cassie, but you have to see this sketchbook. Like, it's so pretty. I've never seen this cover before. This is what I picked out for Cassie. It's a cute little wooden deer. Look at that detail, the way that it's been carved. I know it's simple and technically cheap, but I think it's done very well. I can't wait to see Cassie decorate it. Me and my partner also picked out some vintage music sheets. Look how cool these are. These are so cool. They're almost primaries, but slightly nicer shades. I think probably these free. I was thinking of giving her a bold color palette before I even picked out the item. I just felt like that would really suit her style. I also said that my partner could grab some colors for him to use for journaling and I didn't realize he got that many, but they're free. I just thought, should we pick out the colour palette for Cassie that we've chosen? A uh, blue, maybe a golden yellow, a red. That's a bit bumpy, but we kind of did it. Right, we've got a package from Cassie and I can't wait. Should we see what she said? I'm just a little bit nervous. She has wrapped this really well. Maybe I didn't put enough bubble wrap in mine. I don't know, I didn't feel like mine was super breakable. Oh no, what if this is super breakable? This has been wrapped so well. <laughs> this is so cute and honestly this is a really cool box. But you know the first thing that came to mind when I saw it is like, it kind of looks like a coffin. We need to make something cool with whatever is in this box. Let's see what Cassie said afterwards because it might be a slight spoiler. So obviously we went to the charity shop and found the deer for Cassie. Cassie's done the same thing and she went to a charity shop and I don't know what's in here. But whatever's in here, we need to decorate. Oh, this is cool. This is dark. Am I going to need to gesso this first? Okay, anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. This is what Cassie's picked out for me. It's a cute box. There's a lot of lovely patterning here. Like, I don't know what the material is, but it does feel like a different texture. It doesn't feel like wood. I do really like the color that it is. I like that it's dark, but whatever color this ends up is not up to me. Cassie has sent an envelope in the post with the colors that we're going to be using. I think I would like to to leave this patterning here though because it's so pretty. Now we can see what Cassie said. There's actually no spoilers here but it's a really sweet message and let's open this. This is adorable. Okay so we've got this is the spring doodles pack and honestly this is so cute. A really good deal actually. 
Look how many stickers you get. Oh, do you know what? I think this one here or the bee might be my favorite. Although I do have a soft spot for mushrooms. I love mushrooms. She's also included two separate stickers. We've got an axolotl ice cream and a little rabbit in a dinosaur costume. How cute are these? Oh, this is actually really cool. It's a create your own bookmark. I've not seen these before, but it means you can decorate it however you like. She's also included this print, which is so pretty. Look at those colors. That's everything that we've got from Cassie. We do also have the colors coming in the post so we can get a little bit more of an idea of what she would like us to make. What do you think? What do you think Cassie will go for? Cassie sent the colors. Should we say what we've got? Oh, okay. Hi guys, it's Cassie here from the Cassie Projects and I am here to help Chantelle out today with her thrift store makeover. So Chantelle, I sent you um, a cute little treasure chest box thing. I saw it at the charity shop and thought, that's the one. Why? I don't know. But I really hope you enjoy painting on it. To make it a little bit harder for you, I'm going to give you a range of colours that I would like you to use. I've included red, orange and green into the mix. That lovely autumn yummy colour. I just really like those colours. So uh, I thought you might do. Thank you so much for doing this collab with me. I'm really, really enjoying it. Have fun with your thrift over makeover thrift over makeover thrift makeover challenge and uh good luck mm, what are we gonna do i'm gonna need to get sketching i'm gonna need to get some ideas but first we're gonna need to gesso this box I'm just gonna say it now, I am mostly a watercolour gal, I work in sketchbooks, I don't have much experience with acrylics or acrylic gouache or gesso. I'm gonna try and keep this section completely clear, I'll delicately go around it. That might be wrong, but that's what we're doing. I'm using these two brushes. It's been a year since we last stuck, but now you're hitting me up, telling me that it's been too long. And you wanna meet up. You said your favorite coffee. Shop. Oh, can you see my head shaking? Think I'm gonna be having lunch soon. Was just on the block, so we met up for a cup. And then went for a walk. But you were on your phone the whole time. What was up with that? Cause if you wanted me, talk to me. I just had a thought. I literally forgot to take a picture of the before. Said that you had a good time. You want to do it again? Don't know why I texted back. I guess that I'll see you then. Well, now I'm waiting for you here. Yeah. When you call up my phone, say you're sorry you forgot. And left me on my own. But you're the one. Ooh, I think we've done it. I don't know how I'm gonna leave it to dry. Though it might not look like it, I actually ended up doing quite a few layers of gesso. I probably should have sanded it at some point, but it's quite a delicate little box, so I didn't want to risk damaging it. Also, the varnish did come off a bit, that's why I ended up a little bit orange. And that's also why I added more. I painted the inside as well, which I wasn't going to do originally, but I think it's needed to really tie everything together. The box is ready! And there is a plan. When I first picked up this box, the first thing I thought of was swirls. We've got these messy drawings and we've got these messy drawings. Seeing the colours that Cassie sent, honestly, I saw a sunset. That's all I could see. It's a sunset with a green tree. So I briefly scrapped the idea of doing spirals and instead I thought of doing a sunset with a tree and a nice little landscape. But I don't think that's very me. I don't think it's very authentic to the art that I like to create. So I went off that idea a little bit. I love the idea of doing swirls. So then I thought, what if I do three separate swirls 
circles around the entire box. Something like this, the yellow, the orange and the red. So it almost looks like a sunset in block swells. So it's a little bit more like my own style. But that didn't really have the feel that I wanted. When I picture swells, I'm picturing like 70s block swells that are completely out there. And this doesn't really fit that, this just looks like lines. What kind of art do I want to create with this item? Because when it comes to upcycling, especially for an item like this, I feel like there's two options. Number one is you completely cover up the entire piece. Number two is that you keep elements of it and just accentuate what you've got. When it comes to this box, I knew I wanted to keep the bronze elements down here. So where do we go from here? We work with what we've got and what we're choosing to keep. That that got me looking a little bit closer at the design on the bronze elements. There's these really long leaves that almost look like vines the way that they wrap round. Instead of three block patterns for the swirls, we're going to do six. This is just the red and orange tones and then for the green we're going to try and replicate the plants that we can see on the box already. Just thinking now we could actually join them up to what's already on there. You see how this one continues all the way here? Maybe we join that up with green. That could be really cool. We're gonna keep the lovely original elements and try and work with that and make it really pretty, make it look like it was supposed to be like that. I'm gonna attempt to use acrylic gouache. I've only used it once and that was yesterday, so wish me luck. Let's see if we can manage this. Whilst this is a pretty simple design, it's tricky to get it right because it's a fiddly little box with parts that we're trying to avoid getting paint on. We're also mixing very specific colours with paint that can't be reactivated. That means that we need to avoid making any mistakes since later on we might not be able to cover it and mix the exact same shade. For the sketch I needed six sections as we're painting three colours twice. So we need to draw five lines. And that's about it, I just added them where I thought might look good. We're going with the flow here, I don't know if you can tell. Okay, now for the dumb idea. I don't know if you've seen Lee Ellickson's sketchbook spreads, but she tends to use pages as a palette. So it's filled with paint blobs and looks really cute. I tried it, it didn't work. Dried instantly, ended up using twice as much paint and it went through the page. I don't know how she manages it. The hardest part of painting this box was me. My hands kept smudging the paint, my hands were shaky, it was a nightmare. Well, it wasn't that bad, but I was the problem. Honestly, you can tell I'm not used to painting 3D objects and using paint that can't be reactivated. Actually, come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever painted a 3D object. Acrylic gouache is interesting. It has a slight color shift, like normal gouache, where it dries a slightly different color. And some colours aren't opaque as others, like most paints. I hoped that they'd be very opaque since they are Holbein, but that wasn't the case. Once I moved on to the darker shades that had less white in, they did dry a lovely matte shade though, which is really pretty. I'm just not a fan of acrylic paint being a little bit shiny, so that's why I opted for these. And I also wanted to try them because I've had them a little while. I got them in my birthday haul and this is only the second time using them. You can see I even got paint on my clothes. I'd love to keep this matte finish but know that I need to protect the box. So how would you seal this item? Would you use a varnish or a decoupage like Mod Podge? I do have the matte one but it has a little bit of a sheen so I'm not really sure how we're gonna seal it. Moving on to the rest of the colours, I ditched the cute sketchbook page idea immediately and made a kind of stay wet palette, which worked okay. It meant I could focus and work slower, which led to less mistakes. I genuinely surprised myself with the colour mixing. I don't know much about colour theory, I can kind of picture a colour wheel and what's opposite, but that's about the extent of it. So when it came to mixing these colours, I was really surprised that I actually could. I am a messy artist though, I got paint all over myself and reminded myself why I like watercolour so much. Any mess can be wiped off, any mistakes lifted from the surface, even once it's dry. And the paint can just be re-wet if it dries. It's such a forgiving medium in comparison. The finish that the acrylic wash gives is pretty cool though, I will say that. 
I had no plan when it came to painting inside the box, so I just continued the swirls. It's a bit patchy, but you can't really see it, so it doesn't matter. Same with the bottom. I didn't want to alter the mixture, so just used what we had. But a little bit of water seeped in, so that's why it's a bit watery in places. This is where we're at. I think it's looking kind of cute. And honestly, because I mixed the colors quite well, that's quite a close color match, I think. I think we're just gonna be adding green, adding the vines, because I'm not gonna be able to color match those colors again. We're back and we're painting leaves. We need to figure out where they need to go. So let's get sketching. Okay, I think this goes here and then there. I think this is a pretty good base. I'm pretty sure every single vine actually goes somewhere. The color that we need to mix is Luxurious Walnut, which is such a strange name. It's like an olive green. I think I'm gonna use the orange mixture we've already got because it's not looking too hot anyway. Also, I think this will be a really good base for the color we need to mix. Maybe sky blue rather than doing green, which that's not gonna work. And I'm not sure that one will work. So we'll try sky blue. I have no clue what will happen here. Oh, that's not too far off actually. Honestly? Did we just, did I just mix it by adding one color? Like, I think that's a pretty perfect match. <laughs> okay. I think some water has crept in, so I'm not sure how this mixture is gonna work. A quick update on the situation. The mixture is quite liquidy and it's dripping everywhere. My hands are going into the painting and smudging everywhere. The paintbrush is splattering everywhere. So it's not really going to plan. complete now this is how it's turned out this is my first ever thrifting or upcycling project but since it's already a really cute box i wanted to work with what we've already got keeping in a lot of those key features the little clasp and the handle i just think they're so adorable that we just had to keep them and whilst it is a simple pretty design this is very me and this is gonna look fantastic in my new art studio which we're currently in the process of making if you haven't checked out Cassie's video, make sure you go do that. I sent her the adorable deer that we saw at the beginning and I can't wait to see what she's gonna create. Cassie also makes some really cool videos on here, so make sure you check out her channel below. Thank you for joining me on this cool project. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye-bye.